Hi parents, uh, my name is Ryan Mensch and your child will have me for ninth grade English, honors or regular. Um, this is my 15th year teaching and I am excited to get this year started and excited to meet your kids. So uh, usually on parent night, uh, you come into my room and I show you a little presentation and give you a little rundown of, of what we're going to do throughout the year. So I'm going to do the same thing here by sharing my screen with you. So as I said, ninth grade English, um, I'm Mr. Mensch, and uh, there are some some essential tools that bo both you and your children will want to use uh, in order to increase their um, skills, productivity, and uh, achievement in my classroom. So more than ever before, uh, we will be using digital tools a lot, um, you know, whether we are in person or we're online. So uh, Quizlet is where we store all of our vocabulary. There's actually um, an app for Quizlet, but uh, all of our words are on flashcards. On that site, uh, the kids will use the flashcards in class on the board. Uh, they can study from their phone, but that's where we're going to store the vocab. I always tell the kids there's there's really no excuse for not having the vocab for the week. They'll know what vocab they're on and uh, they'll be able to study it at their leisure after we go over it in class at the beginning of the week. Teams is something the kids may be familiar with from last year. It's uh, the platform from which teachers will run their class. And if we are, if we're, if we're in person, they'll use Teams to access any rubrics, documents, or presentations that I show in class. If the, the child is virtual, they will use Teams to meet with with me or really with the class at their assigned class time uh, through a team meeting. And they're probably familiar uh, with how to do that from their experiences last year with their teachers. And we will review all of this stuff uh, during the first week of school as well. Sapphire is where you're going to want to keep up with your child's grades um, and any daily activities. And, and you'll see assignments pop up in Sapphire. Uh, sometimes long before they're actually due, but you'll get a due date and you'll see when tests are coming up. Um, it's a it's important to to be able to look ahead and see what's on the horizon here. As far as contacting me, please email me about anything, anytime, concerns, questions, comments, whatever. Um, you're going to get a pretty quick response. I, I tell the kids too that, that they should be emailing their teachers to show them that they care uh, and to be making sure that there's clarity. Uh, at every turn of their educational process. So you use these tools. I tell the kids, you use these tools, you get a higher grade. OK, uh, you show the teacher that you care. You should show the teacher that you're on top of things and uh, it really makes um, their educational endeavors a lot easier. Classroom expectations, of course, uh, the expectations, I guess, I guess they really they really change uh, in, the, in this climate. Uh, there's there's so much now that we have to do in terms of keeping things sanitary, but I, I do want to try to keep things as normal as possible uh, while also making sure that the kids are safe. But regardless of, of what time we're in, I, I do want the kids to come to class prepared and, and that's going to very often mean that they have their laptop and it's charged and it's ready to go. Um, will they need a notebook sometimes, but um, for those kids who are not um, in person, the experience may be slightly different, but uh, the kids will know what they what they need to succeed. Uh, mutual respect of one another is shown on a daily basis, and I think it's really uh, important for the kids to have a positive attitude and an open mind regarding anything that we cover, because uh, if they allow their their minds to be open and they have a positive attitude, they can actually uh, learn something and be exposed to things that they may have never considered before. Being academically honest is super important too, and I know that um, it's much easier for the kids to cut corners and possibly uh, cheat while doing, you know, purely online learning. But uh, we do want to foster an attitude of academic honesty, and and really one of my biggest goals is that uh, when they walk into this classroom, they're confident and they are comfortable and they're ready to learn, and and hopefully uh, we can make it, you know, feel like normal again. Vocabulary is important. I talked about Quizlet a couple of slides ago. Uh, at the bottom you see here the application is emphasized. Uh, we want them exposed to more words and we don't just do that by reading and we're going to encounter a lot of these vocab words in our reading, but 
Uh, we want to make sure that you know almost every week they're they're getting exposed to some new words, and and there will be an application test that uh, coincides with it. But the, the kids will know what that looks like uh, before they even take one. Just to give you a really quick rundown of the the content that we're going to cover uh, during the school year. We're going to read a short story called The Scarlet Ibis. We'll do a, a unit on Edgar Allan Poe and Nathaniel Hawthorne, cover a variety of their works. We will work on some um, grammar material once once we see how uh, how the kids write and what they need. Um, it's really based on uh, whatever they display um, is necessary to, to cover or cover again. Uh, we'll read The Pearl by John Steinbeck. We'll write a persuasive research paper um, and give a speech on that paper. We'll do a career research paper, also give a speech on that. Uh, it's the first leg of the graduation project. The kids start to consider some careers they may pursue. We'll read Romeo and Juliet, like most ninth grade classes across the world. Uh, we'll read 1984, that's an honors only book, Fahrenheit 451, and we'll read the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass. And and that's that's basically it. Uh, that's that's what you would have gotten on a normal parents' night. So um, I'm glad you watched the video. Uh, please. Uh, contact me at any point in time if you need anything. Uh, please emphasize to your child that I'm always available and uh, ready to help. So I hope that uh, you and your kids have a great school year and um, I'm excited to get to know them.